Mendoza taking the hill. Top first, no score. Two outs for Chipper Jones. That's deep. That's gone. He had two homers in the game. His 22nd career multi-homer game fourth this season. Bottom three, Yanks down 5-2. One on for Jorge Posada. He rips John Smoltz. 12th for Posada. Yanks down 5-4. Smoltz three innings, four runs, six hits. Lefty six for eight against him. Righty's 0 for 7. Top 7, tied at 6, 2 on. Brian Jordan rips the shot past third. Here comes Kilby Overis. RBI double for Jordan. He was 2 for 4, one of four Atlanta players that had two hits. Bringing Rocker, Mike Gremlinger out, Rocker in. Facing Paul O'Neill with the bases loaded. O'Neill thought it was ball four. Well, that's strike two. And here is strike three. He said, Rocker just flat out beat me. Braves beat the Yanks 10 6. Before facing O'Neill, Rocker hit Derek Jeter with his first pitch. Third no score, bases loaded. Carl Everett lines the Omar Dahl pitch to left. Inches away from being a fair ball. Count goes to 0-2. Now with Manny on deck and a full count, Everett rounds to short. Jimmy Rollins bobbles. Throws the second for one. Marlon Anderson's relay in time. Double play, inning over. Everett upset. He was 0 for 4 and left 4 on base. Jimmy Williams coming out to no avail. Top 4, Pedro in control. He gets Rollins swinging. He had 9 Ks first time in 6 starts. He had less than 10. He gets Bobby Abreu. He moves past Smokey Joe Wood in the 5th place on the team's career strikeout list. Scott Rowland, see you when I see you. Pedro, 1 hit, 6 Ks through 4. Now, top 6, Anderson in a 6 for 42 slump. Slump that. Drills Pedro, gone. Anderson six, Phil's lead one zip, just the fourth homer off Pedro this year. Top eight, Phil's up two zip, bases loaded, no out. Infield and Rollins chops the Rolando Orojo pitch over Jose Offerman, two win. Phil's win 5-2. Pedro charged with all five runs. His ERA rose to 2.01 first time since the end of 99. It's been above two. It's just the third time the Red Sox have lost consecutive Pedro starts. Could they lose Pedro for his next start? He was tight before the game. He's apparently still having problems with his oblique muscle in his side. Here's Pedro's battery mate. He, he was, you know, about four miles an hour off on his fastball. And instead of just blowing, by, blowing it by guys, we were, you know, kind of had to think twice and maybe nitpick a little bit more than uh, he would normally. Did Pedro leave the game healthy or was he experiencing any physical problems? No, he, he left the game healthy. We went out and talked to him and he seemed to be doing fine. And, uh, no, he didn't lose any more velocity. I just don't think he, he felt out of nothing. Hard to believe the Red Sox are just seven and six. Sturts facing Ray Ordonez. Barehanded throw to first. But Sturts tells himself, you know what, next time I probably shouldn't use my pitching hand to do that. Top three now. Mike Piazza. That's a solo shot. It's 118th as a Met. Tied now with Ed Cranepool for sixth in team history. The game's tied 1-1. Bottom three, Laura on second. Randy Wynn. To Ray Ray. Throws to third from his knees. Ray. Into the dugout. Damian Rolls scores. And Devil Rays have a 2-1 lead. Top eight now. Mets down three. Bases loaded. Pinch hitter Lenny Harris to left. But it's not deep enough. Mets leave them loaded. New York 1 for 10 with the runners in scoring position. And the Devil Rays win 5-2. Tampa Bay with the worst record in the major leagues. Now on the verge of sweeping the Mets. Devil Rays win consecutive games for the first time in 43 days. Freeway series in L.A. Somewhere in there. Angels and Dodgers. Top two. They're on the corners. David Eckstein to center. Marquise Grissom on the run. That in support of Chanaho Park, who allowed one run on six hits in seven innings. He was sanked. Top four, X down to left center. Grissom on the run again. This time he's not going to get there. Adam Kennedy comes in. He scores. Ramon Ortiz tries to score as well, but he forgets to touch home plate. Not even close. Chad Cook, go tag him. Uh, dude, I think you pretty much had it. Yeah, or tag him already so we can get on with a highlight. Thank you. Tied at one. Bottom nine, they're loaded. Angels with a five-man infield. And Mark Resolanik, 0 for 4 with two Ks on the day, hits it over Tim Salmon's head. Ben Weber, thank you. Dodgers win 2-1. Resolanik's game winner extends his hit streak to 11. The Dodgers game over. Here's highlights. Top five, tied at two. Freddy Garcia facing Ryan Klesko. Klesko deep. Stan Javier on the run. Stan, give me that. Let's see it again. He's got hops. It would keep Klesko from extra bases. Klesko, do not say a word. We know what you're thinking. Bottom seven, Mariners down 4-3. Runner on third, but Edgar Martinez. Jay Wataskic gets some swinging. 
Padres cling to the lead. Top eight still 4-3. 2-1 for Alex Arias. Shot to left. Is it fair? Yes, it is. Two-run score. Padres. Can you say victory? 6-3. Mariners franchise high 15-game winning streak is history. Freddy Garcia gets his first loss in his last eight decisions. Bobby Jones, six innings pitch, two earned runs, his first win this year. His first win at night this year. He was 0-8 coming in. Ricky Henderson, two for four, three RBI, 50 hits away from 3,000. Astros and Rangers, bottom two, Kent Bottenfield. One pudgy guy facing a guy named Pudge. Sorry. Solo shot to right. Six nothing Rangers. Bottenfield tagged for six runs on six hits and one and two third. Bottom three now. They're loaded for Rodriguez. This time against Jose Lima. His second career grand slam. His 11th home of the year in third and two games. Five RBI day for Pudge. And the Rangers win big time. 16 4. Most runs allowed by Houston since 1999. Bottom two, Ramon Hernandez towards second. Jeff Kent diving from his knees. He throws this in support of Sean Estes, who gave up three runs on five hits in nine innings. Pitched well. Top seven. Here's Kent. Say hello to my little front. A scoring Lytle, a two run shot up. Ball is ninth. Giants now down only one. Three, two, eight. Top nine, man on third for Bonds. Right through the Izzy Very pitch, but it gets away from Ramon Hernandez. That was strike three. Calvin, Calvin Murray coming in. Calvin that ties Murray. it. We go to extra innings. Bonds again. Over three, two walks, two Kings. Top 11, two on for Kent. Lines the pitch off T.J. Matthews up the middle. Martinez comes in. And that's the ball game. Giants win 4-3 in 11 innings. Kent, two for four, three RBI. Good day for him. Today it's the Cubs and White Sox. It's 1-1 in the eighth semi. Sosa, bases loaded. Base hit. One run will score. Zero runs will score. Cubs take a 3-1 lead. Not done. Far from it. 3-1 in the bottom of the eighth. First and second. Tom Gordon on the hill. Two outs. The runners are going. The runners are going. Hey, guys. Runners are going. Tough pitch to handle, but you didn't even look like they thought about throwing. Trying to spot the pitch in here. Base it. How many times have you seen it? Maglio Ordonez. One run will score. Two runs will score. That second run because they didn't stop the guys from running. It's a 3-3 ball game. Todd Van Poppel pitching here in the ninth. Check swing. Van Poppel thought he had it. No, 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 no. Don't throw it. Oh! Where's Ron Santo? Oh, no! Oh, he's probably calling this. Two errors on the play for Van Poppel. Oh, after all that. Two batters later, Tony Graffinino. Line drive back to Van Poppel and back over. Double play, inning over. Let's go to the 10. Nobody out. Man on second. Gary Matthews Jr. is up. Now, Matthews laying down the bunt. Keith Falk fields, fires to third. There's a man on second, not first and second. Graffinino. Oh, no! There was no force. Everybody's safe. Two men later, Matt Stairs. Fly ball with a man on third. That's going to score a run. Cubs take a 4 3 lead. Inexplicable. Bottom of the tenth, two on, two out. Jeff Passero on the hill, and he struck him out. Got Jeff Leeper. Cubs win. Cubs win. Now, Jerry Manuel called that man that you saw, Graffinino, one of our headiest players. He said he just lost focus. Don Baylor said, you know, a lot of Friday the 13th. The Diamondbacks and the Royals. Yeah, you know, Kansas City, Arizona, boy, they, for, for centuries they've. Anyway, inside, Luis Gonzalez smoked back by Blake Stein. Luis, uh, three home runs against the Royals the night before. High and tight. He'd later foul out. Now here, Andy Chavez puts this out on the top. It's Gonzalez Whoa. coming in. Royals will not score in the first inning. In the second, Mike Sweeney, a dangerous man against Armando Reynoso. Got him. Pretty One good down. start for Reynoso tonight. Jermaine Dye on a 1-0. Until there. That, that's the, <laughs> that's the one-two punch. Sweeney and Dye. Dye gets a piece of that. Oh, web gem. Look at this catch by the fed. You know, it's not worth your life. Let me just point that out. Why do you bring your glove to sit up there in the 17th row of the bleachers? That's why. Mark Grace, 3-2. Blake Stein, who knew? Look at this. Well, Rubio Durazo. When Blake Stein can actually hit his spots, he has great stuff, great arm on this guy. Now here, David DeLucci, it's a plate in a 3-1 game in the eighth. Jason Grimsley on in relief. Durazo coming around. He's going to score from first, and Royals fans at this time just cover your eyes as the bullpen comes on. Uh, this is how their season started, how it was wrecked. Roberto Hernandez on to finish in the ninth. Look at this. Joe Randa, a very tough play, a fine defensive play. And the Royals do hold off a division leader. 3-2 the final here. A.J. Hinch with a solo home run.
Well, tonight we already showed you the uh, Twins, uh, the Indians rather, taking care of business, beating the Reds. So Twins need a win to stay a half out. Dave Winfield honored before the game. He'll be honored, of course, August 5th in Cooperstown into the Hall of Fame. And here defensively, man out in the outfield is Torrey Hunter we, getting it. We done. haven't seen a great defensive play by a twin in about 10 minutes, so Torrey Hunter obliges. It is so much fun to watch this guy play center field. The cruise, the leap, the crash off the hefty bag. Beautiful. Here in the bottom of the third, you got two outs. Matt Lott, clutch hitting, puts this through. That off Jimmy Anderson, Christian Guzman will score. One nothing twins. Still one nothing in the fourth. Two outs. Look at this shot. Guzman up. Look at this. Bro. Dunstan like. Wow. Back in the day. How good is he? End of the threat. Here in the fifth, Guzman, the bouncer to second. Now here, bobbled. The tag is made. Oh, it's thrown away. Keith Osick backing up the play. Watch Christian Guzman. He's lingering. He's lingering, and you can do a lot of things, but you can't do this. He's called out because he made the turn. He turned and he took a like a false step towards second base. Not allowed. Two outs, man on third in a 3-2 ball game. Latroy Hawkins gets Jason Kendall. Kendall and Ofer in this game, but that a pretty good confrontation. So the Twins win, the Indians also win. So it's still a half game lead for the Tribe in the Lasted just one and two thirds. Strikes out Sean Casey, the man he was traded for. He gets DT Plumer looking. He retired 13 in a row at one point. His 10th interleague victory ties him with Greg Maddox and Brad Rackey for most in the majors. Bottom five, Indians up four zip. Jim Tomey takes Osvaldo Fernandez deep. How deep? 446 feet deep. His 15th this season, ninth in the last 14 games. Indians win 10 2. Since May 1st, Tommy has 12 homers and 28 RBI and has raised his average. Three cards. Rockies has scored his top three. J.D. Drew off Pedro Estacio with two run shot as 20 at 3 0 St. Louis. Estacio gave up seven runs on 10 hits and five innings. Next batter, it's Mark McGuire. And Big Mac rips one to the gap in right center, but look at McGuire. He's motoring. He's going to hustle around first, legs out a double. Big Mac one for three, a double and two walks. Bottom four, Juan Pierre to short. Look at Edgar Renteria. Oh, that is sensational. The backhander throws the first and they get him. Top five. Albert Pujols, a three-run shot is 18th, put the Cardinals up 6-0, so the ball game is lost. Hey, what's going on down the street at the Pepsi Center? It's a countdown to the cup. Yes, you're losing 8-2, but hey, you've won the Stanley Cup. Not a bad consolation prize. Cardinal Wearing the uniforms from the old Negro Leagues. <laughs> Here, and Bobby Higginson with a shot on Ben Sheets. That Milwaukee Bears team, by the way, was in existence for exactly two months. They could barely find the uniforms. And why find the uniforms? I mean, look, that's well, not the best. Anyway, whatever. Here, Ray King facing Higginson, the grounder. Now, we got a collision here. Both guys doing all right with it, but it was Richie Sexton, Dog, and Higginson that got everybody fired up. Well, Yo, you Bobby, Bobby Higginson was going to try to run Ray King over to... <laughs> I elbow the ball up. out of there and oh, hey, look, mom coming. Bobby Higginson's moms. Did you see that? She's from Philadelphia. I can't believe she didn't charge the field. You get out there and you tell him not to hit our son. Honey, look, they're major leaguers. They can't. Anyway, two men later, Robert. Oh, here Fick we go again. Oh, no. Oh, you know, King thought about it, then made the toss. Now Fick is John as King went by him. And we got this going on again. Nothing happened after all this, although Higginson at this point is getting caught. Fick uh, has the Bushido, a lot of oh, fighting spirit. Higginson fired up. Anyway, be a wild ball game in baseball itself. Bottom of the ninth, 5-5 ball game. Infield is in. Jose Macias, ground ball, base hit. Shane Halter, hero of this game as well. He comes in. And the Brewers and Tigers. It was a good, rough one here. Oh. The Tigers take the first two games of the series. Both starters pitched well, by the way. Steve Sparks went seven. For the Marlins and the Blue Jays. And here in the first, Chris Carpenter to Cliff Floyd. Floyd buries this. That's that's the last pitch you would see, Jason. They walked him intentionally three times after <laughs> Not that. Not a bad idea. Thank you. Yeah, A.J. Burnett, meantime, other side. And uh, Burnett, he has been sensational. Ever since that no-hitter, A.J. Burnett has been a different pitcher. High fly ball in the left field. See him getting uh, Raul Mondesi to fly out here. Tremendous life on his fastball. Carlos Delgado flips the bat. Not very good contact there. And now Darren Fletcher next. Watch him chase this ball. That fastball is alive. Now here in the top of the ninth, Preston Wilson, the big cut. He takes a big swing. Watch him. Ooh. 
I watch Preston Wilson grab that back. If you're the Marlins, you sure don't want to see this. Ooh, that hurt. Later would leave the game. Walk in the at bat. It really cranks it up. Here, next man up is Mike Lowell. Mike Lowell, good RBI man. This is deep and doing some damage. And one run will score. Two runs will score. Could it be? Three runs will score. He scored. Marlins get a 6-1 lead. That'd do it. AJ Burnett, second complete game of his career. The first was the no hitter in May. Funny thing about that, Jason, he allowed 10 base runners in the no-hitter against the Padres, only three base runners in this game. Yeah, well, walked nine in that no-hitter, has walked eight unintentionally in all the starts since then. Now has six starts out of his seven, which he's given up one run or none. Amazing. Expos and Orioles, the interleague matchup you've been waiting for. Jeff Torborg, uh, watching his team. He had a rough time watching his team run themselves out of some innings here. Well, the Expos, you remember last weekend they scored... 10 runs in back-to-back -back games. They scored four in the next four games. And this one, get doubled off on a pop-up. Terry Jones was running on the pitch, just didn't get back. Now this one, Fernando Lunar breaks, blocks that ball, and Cabrera thinks he's gonna make it. No, he won't. And now Milton Bradley's doing second. No, he doesn't. That kind of day for the Expos for a while there. And here, Masato Yoshi on the hill, Mevin Mora. Buries this. Melvin Mora with his second of the year. It's a 1 1 ball game. Top of the eighth base is loaded to us. Orlando Cabrera just puts this over the top. Lee Stevens come around to score. Vlad will score. Expos take it 4 to 2. Vladimir Guerrero 2 for 4. He's hit safely in nine straight games. 